hello friends uh, I'm going to show you today is how to calculate or how to estimate correlation regression and curve estimation and how to how you can interpret this result in SPSS I'm using uh, SPSS 20 version now so first I first you have to start the SPSS software in your PC and type in data then you got uh, this type this uh, windows like this and you have to open a database from your PC so I have already saved or created a database in my PC name child marriage so this is my database in a child marriage and here is some uh, reasons or responses on child marriage this poverty parental attitude social insecurity school dropout and others and I want to calculate the correlation regression against a response this is my independent this is my dependent variables and this is my independent variables so first you first things you just go to analyze from your menu then correlate bivariate correlate responses and suppose poverty all are all these things are default correlation coefficient as uh, Pearson correlation and two-tailed test okay so a result has shown responses Pearson correlation versus responses is 1 and responses Pearson correlation property versus correlation is 0 0.107 so what does it mean actually if we uh, calculate this and take a square 0 0.017 sorry point one zero seven square into hundred that means poverty and uh, responses has only one point one four percent relations again we can calculate this is regression simple analyze regression carb uh, linear regression there are a lot of different types of regression in statistics this is tools and you can use it if you uh, are well known in this method simply linear method dependent variable is response independent variable is say uh, poverty method is enter just click ok then you got different types of tables first table is, is variable entered or removed so it's a method where we have we have calculated it in uh, enter method then model summary is very important model summary this is a uh, values of correl reg regression r capital r 0 0.107 this is r square is 0 0.011 this is adjusted R square 0 0.008 standard error of the estimate is you know R square is the ratio of dependency or in dependency that's why this is uh, if you uh, multiply this in 100 then you will get a ratio and you can say this is uh, this is as another result adjusted R square is just uh, compress the result only 0 0.008 so you, you got the model summary regression model you will another got uh, you will get another ANOVA re re regression as residual totals and coefficients it is too much important coefficient because uh, we have to interpret some alpha plus 
beta x that is mean our regression model is y equal alpha plus beta x so it's a constant this one and property beta is 0.221 we can get it in another way regression curve estimation responses dependent variables and poverty variables then ok curve estimation result will be shown within a few minutes let's see what is happening takes time some because of uh, calculation here we got a another uh, model summary parameters estimates equation linear model r square 0.01 significance level is 0.065 that is p value constant 14. 779 that is this is the uh, alpha and beta 1 that is beta 0 0.221 so these are constants so we got only 1.1 percent dependency so that is a very little amount relationships so that's why these are the straight lines very little upward straight line So these are this is the uh, three uh, methods. See how can we, uh, I will have sh I already showed you that you can calculate correlation, regression, and curve estimation. So you can apply this system, this formula, this theory in different ways, uh, in different databases, and in your different purposes, and you will get the result. Thank you.